CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 186 through 190 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 186. A company has experienced repeated intrusion attempts originating from specific high-risk regions. The security team wants to reduce the likelihood of future attacks by limiting access to systems from those areas. Which of the following would best help mitigate this risk? The answer is D. IP geolocation. IP geolocation allows organizations to restrict or monitor access based on the geographic location of IP addresses. By blocking or limiting connections from high-risk regions, a company can reduce the attack surface and prevent known sources of malicious activity from reaching its systems. This is a practical approach to mitigating region-based threats and is commonly implemented through firewall rules, content delivery networks, or web application firewalls. Question 187. A security administrator is configuring firewall rules to support communication using RTP, SRTP, SIP, and H323. Which type of service is most likely being supported by these protocols? The answer is B. Voice over IP. Voice over IP communication relies on a set of specialized protocols to function effectively. SIP and H323 are used to initiate and manage calls, while RTP carries the audio and video streams during the call. For added security, SRTP encrypts those media streams to protect the data in transit. Because these protocols use specific ports and signaling methods, firewall rules often need to be configured to allow them through. Question 188. A coffee shop offers free Wi-Fi to customers but wants to restrict internet access until users agree not to engage in illicit activities while using the network. Which of the following technologies would best help enforce this policy? The answer is A. Captive Portal. A captive portal is a web page that users must interact with before gaining full access to a network. It is commonly used in public or semi-public environments like coffee shops, airports, and hotels. By displaying an acceptable use policy and requiring users to agree before proceeding, a captive portal helps restrict internet access until users confirm they will not engage in illicit activities. This ensures a layer of accountability and helps the business comply with internal or legal usage policies. Question 189. A security engineer is tasked with assessing the organization's internal network to identify outdated software, misconfigurations, and exposed services across multiple servers. Which of the following tools would best assist in identifying these vulnerabilities? The answer is A. Nessus. Nessus is a comprehensive vulnerability scanning tool used to detect known security issues such as unpatched software, open ports, insecure configurations, and other weaknesses across systems. It automates the process of vulnerability detection and provides detailed reports for remediation efforts. As such, Nessus provides a centralized and efficient way to evaluate the overall security posture of multiple hosts making it an essential tool for internal assessments. Question 190. A security analyst needs to validate a report claiming that certain printer models are transmitting user credentials in clear text. The analyst plans to review packet captures to confirm whether sensitive data is exposed on the network. Which of the following tools would be best suited for this task? The answer is C. Wireshark. Wireshark is a powerful network protocol analyzer that captures and displays packets in real time, enabling security professionals to examine traffic for signs of insecure behavior. It offers detailed visibility into protocols, source and destination addresses, ports, and payloads. 
With the help of filters and protocol-specific dissectors, Wireshark allows analysts to investigate traffic at the packet level and confirm whether network activity aligns with expected behavior. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.